Top of the middle of the day to you boys and girls. We're back at it with the rematch between my 462, which you see right here on the log, versus this one right here. Um, we did the Insane OSS version, and it was lagging just a little bit behind mine. After some conversation with the owner, we decided to step it up a little bit, if you will, and I reworked some things internally, and we're going to run it against mine and see how it does. So this saw uh, went to California for a redwood killing spree, and depending on how things work out, we're probably going to post these videos in reverse order because timeline-wise, it comes out in the right chronological fashion. Anyway, so I guess technically we're at cycle level. Uh, mine, I pretty much took it as far as you can go. When I first did this saw uh, back in November of 2017, so probably has 500,000 board feet of volume on it at this point. I've used it off and on here and there. Um, we're sporting a 30 inch Oregon lightweight bar and it has some um, full comp husk varna chain but that's the version that's made by oregon so same bar and chain as we ran yesterday it's definitely a lot different air temperature wise today it's balmy in the low 40s i think it was uh low 20s yesterday so start contrast there uh, my youngest son's going to give me a hand with the tack we'll be looking at some stuff especially since i can't really operate the tack well on the upstroke with these operation. We'll have a bar change in the middle of course and I guess let us begin this session. RPM was a little over 10,000. I'm going to add in there that this chain is not that great. <laughs> Yes, I did. What did you see? It was a little over 9,700. Really? Because I saw 99.50 personally. Right? Did you see that as well? Yeah, but to be fair, you're kind of blind. <laughs> I see. Is that how that works? Yeah. Yeah, with the sun shining, you got to be kind of careful and make sure that you're looking in the screen and verify that you can see it yourself because what happens is the sun gets in there on that LED screen and it kind of wreaks havoc. Yeah, I can't say that my chain is super awesome. I must have hit something last time we were running these. Yesterday. Right in the end or something because it seemed like it was doing a little bit better before...
Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you go on my bench, the one that's on the left when you walk in, over by all those hanging Fordhams and stuff, and... By the hanging what? The, the like, the Dremel tools that are on the shaft, they're called, like, the Fordhams, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so then on top of that little blue thing, there's a little caliper set. It's kind of got some green on it. It's about that long. It's real wide. Can you go grab that? It's right there by that tower. Sure. So, there's some shininess to some of these teeth. Like I said, I wasn't super impressed with this chain this session. But it's the same as last time. like that sitting right down on that little blue machine, blue machine? that doesn't have a broken glass no. okay. that's the one I want please So provided my assistant can find what we're looking for in relatively short order, which looks like we're successful. We saw about the same RPMs in both of these saws. They're running 13.6 or 13.5 or something like that. So look in that screen and see if you can see what I'm showing. Look in the screen, please. Can you see this? Um can't see the number but you can well, see what I, you're doing yeah okay that's all I need to know so we're gonna zero this out we can see that we're gonna just take a little quick look at these depth gauges or rickers or stops depending on who you're talking to so we're at about 41 or something It's, but like I said, I'm not super overwhelmed with how awesome this chain is. As to be completely honest. You couldn't see it. I couldn't see it? Yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah. We're at zero. I'm like super thankful for my assistant today. Yeah, it's hard to test this side We're on the wrong side all the time. So we're about 39 on the other side, so we're within a couple thousand. Um but like I said, I can't say I'm super awesomely impressed with this chain. Mostly because it's feeling dull. Yeah, can you turn it off, please? Oh, 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 oh.
ten thousand. What was it? Just a little over ten thousand. So they're running about the same on the downstroke. <laughs> I saw that too, but I saw the 9950 number as well. You want me to put this back? Um, no, we're going to look at something else in the next run, I think. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to take a look at the runs. I'll post in the description area what I found time-wise between the fairly brand new we only fell like a few trees versus the we have 500 board or excuse me 500,000 board feet of volume cut which is a fair amount on my personal saw um, we took a look at the stops they're around 40 it seems like they need to come down a little bit actually um and it feels like that changed just a fuzz on the dull side but we've been using it for a while so I took the stops down because the chain wasn't the most awesome, mostly because we've been using it quite a bit and I haven't done anything to sharpen it for quite a bit of time. So we'll check them out again just for kick. I'm thinking you can see the zero. So we're down quite a ways from what we were before. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Let's check the other side real quick and give it a little test drive, shall we? So sometimes when I'm doing it by hand, I don't get exactly perfect. We had 57 and then we have 53 on this one, in particular on the opposite side. Yeah, they're running about the same, I guess. Thank you.
really tiny. Like it's that little section of holes right there. Okay. So you kind of have to get your mouth down there by that thing and speak. The idle RPM was a little under 2,400. And... <laughs> a little under? Yeah. It was we're, a we're looking for solid numbers, bud. 2520. Okay. 2730. Okay. Looking for solid. Okay. It was 2320. Okay. Or, no, it was 2380. And then the running... RPM was nine eight nine eight seventy. Cause I saw a little over ten. I saw ten one. That thing bounces around a lot. You gotta look for the high one, right? Okay. Or like the average one, but that was the high. <laughs> Floating around 50,000 or so, somewhere in that range, 50 to 55, I guess. And the chain's a little rough, it seems like, but that's because it's kind of dullish. So I guess I'm going to have to say thank you to Mr. Nitta for letting me use his saw on sabbatical and with some R&D stuff as well. It's been a I've had his saw for a little while at this point. Um, and yeah, they're both sporting K&N air cleaner systems. Mine has the smaller version. So like I said, I'm really curious to see how the time runs compare. Check the description area. Thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth.